Is it a car, a plane, or a drone? This vehicle come Hellcat looks like a larger version of a regular drone. Created by a Chinese company called Xpeng Airwell. The test of their electric flying taxi offers a glimpse into the future where people may one day soar through over the city to their destination leaving traffic jams far below. The electric flying taxi Xpeng X2 is developed by the Guangzhou-based Xpeng Incorporated Aviation Affiliate and is one of the dozens of flying car projects around the world. However, only a handful have been successfully tested with passengers on board and it will likely be many years before any are put into service. This demonstration of the Xpeng X2 takes place with an empty cockpit, but the company says it carried out a manned flight test in July 2021. هذه هذه التجربة كثير مهمة وقرار شركة الصينية الأكشبان التي تسوى فوق 20 بليون دولار هي من أكبر المصنعين للسيارات الكهربائية في الصين وحين هي استبدع بالسيارات الطائرة فعندها إمكانيات للتجربة للتصنيع عندها مهندسين عندها قنوات لوجستية قنوات الصناعة فهي بتأخذ هالخبرة وهالمقدرة بتحولها الحين إلى السيارات الطائرة وطبعا حصلت أحسن شريك في العالم هي إمارة دبي عشان نحن جاهزين نبغي نجرب نبغي نتقدم نبغي ما في ما في شيء اسمه مستحيل مثل ما القيادة تقول فنحن اليوم يعني أثبتنا بعد للشركة وزدنا ثقة إنهم لازم يكونوا المقر الرئيسي لهم في الاختبارات وتكون أول مدينة لل للنقل الجوي للسكان تكون في إمارة دبي. Alcan adds that Dubai is working with the private sector. On establishing a framework that governs the rules of the flying cars. It is expected that in 2024, the new generation of the new vehicles will be ready, and in 2026, there will be more flying testing. The car itself weighs 700 kilograms, and it flies to a distance you don't think possible for something that weighs 700 kilograms. It looks like a drone, but it can fly for 140 kilometers in 45 minutes. The company says it has a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour. The pilotless vehicles may one day ferry passengers across town, high above congested roadways. But the sector still faces major challenges, including battery life, air traffic control, and safety, as well as infrastructure issues.